Let's talk about how you can use Canva to help your students organize their thoughts. So I'm going to go to create a design, education presentation. I personally really like uh, the setup of education presentation because it reminds me of Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint, and we're very familiar with that. We use that often. So once I'm on this blank slide, everything I need in terms of creating this presentation or this assignment can be found in elements. So just about anything that I want to add to this slide. So say I want to use a mind map with students. There are so many options for mind mapping. It, it gets really creative and really fun. I personally really like this one because it's colorful and it's fun. Uh, and then it gives you plenty of space for students to add their thoughts. So say that you were to give students this, add a text box on the right side that says something to the effect of mind map. And then you can go on to include any directives or things that you want them to know how to do. Then once you turn it over to students, they have a text box as well that they have access to. They can click that add a subheading and say you're talking about characterization and you want them to touch base on the dialogue of a character. Or maybe you want them to touch base on the uh, traits of a character, what a character looks like. They can go in and add these different types of characterizations. So there's an ELA example. Let's look also at history. I want to look at timeline because timeline is a great one to use if you're trying to track the order of events that took place um, over our history. So I love this one. It's simple, it's plain, it's ordinary, but at the same time, it gives students ample space to go in and put things in an order of events. And I love the way this timeline is done because even though it's a little different than a timeline you may picture in your head, which you know is more vertical, um, I'm sorry, horizontal, this one being vertical gives them more space to list everything and it's ordered from top to bottom with the dates that exist. Rather than when you're looking at a horizontal timeline, sometimes it can get a little tricky with items going above the timeline and beneath the timeline to get the gist of when that actually took place. So again, here they can just click that text box and they can add the date and the event that something happened and just pop that in right there on their timelines line. Um, all right, so let's also look at a graphic organizer that might be a flowchart. Anything you can think of for organization, Canva has so many elements that you can use to have students access and fill in their ideas. So here's a great example of a flowchart. Again, there are so many options when you look at graphs, charts, uh, things that help students kind of get their thinking together. So when I think of that, I think of things like graphic organizers. So again, this is a great way to use Canva to help your students organize their thoughts and ideas and you have super easy access to them. They're both beautiful and functional.